Hello and welcome back to the cove with more FTL. Up to sector four, still in rock territory, but we're doing pretty good. In the last episode, we managed to get a nice upgrade to our beam weapon. We went from having a mini beam to having a whole beam, which is a lot, a lot stronger, which I'm very happy with. We also went ahead and uh, purchased the ability for having a second layer of shields. Uh, we'll see if we need to play around with our power at all to make that happen, but we have it in case we need it. So let's go ahead and see what this sector has in store. Okay, so it's like, uh, yeah, again, opposite corner. Uh, we have a couple of options up over here. Hmm. Many interesting paths. There seems to be a good density of beacons in this area. I think we'll probably go north. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go up. We'll work our way across here and see what we can find. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's an... Uh, we have, uh, yeah, we're going to have to say goodbye to one of these. So, we might as well go ahead and jump and see how this works out. Okay, so the captain of this ship can provide services as long as you've got the scrap. Hmm, interesting. Well, we see he's got a missile, and I think that's a single layer, uh, a single shot laser. Realistically, we don't really have needs for his ship. Maybe we just go ahead and fight him. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and uh, gain some scrap. Let's fight the ship. Okay, the mercenary is worse than rebels. The only honorable course is to engage the mercenary in battle. Okay, oh, and he has a few more weapons than I thought he had, but you know what? I think we'll be okay. Uh, let's see. Dual lasers are getting ready. Let's go ahead and make sure... You know what? Uh, let's make sure that we fire those shots straight away. I think hmm, we will have to see. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of extra shielding. Let's make sure that that gets powered up. Uh, hull beam. Oh, we're not going to be able to get this shot on target. That's unfortunate. All right, well, we soaked up a one shot. Oh, and you know what? Uh, no, we're going to save the rest. We need the cloaking for that missile. Oh, and it seems to have been the right call. Okay, so that's oh, all right for now. On two solid hits, that's exactly what we're after. Let's focus from the... Where do we want to go? Yeah, shields, weapons, a second systemless room. That seems to be what we are after. Alright, they fired that missile. Let's go ahead and dodge it out of the way. There we are. Fantastic. Okay, dual lasers are still up and running. Let's go ahead and... You know what? We're still going to wait for them to make... For our hull beam to make a little bit of progress. We'll target their... I think we target their weapons with the second shot. We should do enough damage with the hull beam. Maybe take it down a little bit further. Yeah. Again, weapons to be taken out is our first priority. Again, make sure that we cut through there. That should do some solar damage. Alright, again, if we... Oh, they now can no longer dodge. Okay, dual lasers. Let's go ahead and take out their shields. That should be perfectly fine. And, uh, yeah, the day is yours. Show us your honor by allowing us to leave with our lives. Hmm... It's tempting, it truly is, but I think we can, even if we take a point of damage, I don't think we're really bothered by that. No, we're going to go for the extra scrap, we will not surrender. Yeah, that'll be a-okay. Oh, and let's go with the jewel lasers once again, we need to, oh, uh, of course. It does look like we didn't quite do as much damage as we wanted. Alright, but either way, this is going to be the killing blow, let's go ahead and, uh, there we have it. Let's also make sure that we put our oxygen back on. We're almost at half life support. That would not be good. Okay, 26 scrap to take home. Fantastic. So, you know what? That's exactly what we need. Uh, yeah, no stores in the immediate area. So let's go ahead and power up. We're going to buy another two power bars. This way we have full evasion, two shields. Realistically, that was the perfect amount of scrap to get us through where we just were. If we can get another 50 odd, I think we'll go ahead and uh, upgrade our cloaking next. Yeah, I think that's not a bad plan. So, 
Uh, do we give it another couple of seconds? I think we do, just to get that oxygen back up. Although, you know what? It's make a difference, because we now have the power. So, let's just go ahead and jump. Let's see what we can find. Okay, you come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately saying greetings. Our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded the system. Do you have any extra explosives? Ooh, I requested five or fifteen. You know what? Let's go ahead and give them what they require. And then some extra and see what we can get in return. Ah, uh, wow, this will help our efforts considerably. Let us see what we can scrounge up for you. They deliver some scrap and have their team try to repair part of your hull. Okay, you know what? 37 scrap is a fantastic trade. Full health is also fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that is fantastic. That is so very good for us. In fact, uh, I reckon we go ahead and pay for the cloaking now. Yeah, let's go ahead and pay for the cloaking and that way... We can use that. We could either use some oxygen or maybe some extra evasion, whatever it is, but I feel like we're in a very strong position right now. So let's go ahead and jump. We'll go ahead and uh, fight that ship. This one's not going to really open up any more locations to for us. Yeah. Let's go ahead and engage. A motley collection of rock ships are stationed around this beacon. They look to have resorted to a pirate's life. Defensive maneuvers. Oh, you know what? This is actually rather bad. They have three shields and we cannot burn our way through. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, there's nothing we can do here. This is a fight that we cannot win. We have to bail. Let's put all of our power towards cloaking and our engines. We just have to jump at the first opportunity. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have a way to deal with this. Yeah, hopefully they all charge roughly the same time and they go for a... Let's go ahead and cloak. Alright, well, they've missed everything, so that's fantastic. Okay, we definitely need a few more... Uh, a few more uh, bits and pieces for our arsenal. We do not have the firepower to take out three shields. Yeah, that's not ideal. All right, let's go ahead and jump. Uh, distress beacon. I think the distress beacon is probably where we'll go next. Yeah. All right, and their shots have completely missed. Fantastic. A ship without life forms is nearly within... Sorry, a ship without life forms within a nearby defense asteroid field is giving off a distress call. Shall we investigate? Could be dangerous. You know what? Uh, doesn't say that it has life forms. You know what? It could be dangerous. You know what? We'll search it anyway. We'll search for the ship. If we take a little bit of damage, we're at full health. All right. Uh, you find what appear to be pieces of a derelict ship coated in ice or crystal. Before you have a chance to dock, a few asteroids get past your shields and partially damage your engines. Okay. Well. Okay. Not ideal, but it could have been worth something. Yeah. That's uh. It is what it is. Oh, let's also make sure that we reactivate our hull beam. We do not want to lose out on any potential charge. Uh, let's go ahead and jump. We're going to go ahead and see... You know what? Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump over here first. We can't make our way to any other location outside of these two. We could technically go around, but I think... Uh, you know what? Maybe it wouldn't be the worst. Go here... No, let's just jump across and then we'll uh, we'll make our decision. Now you find a rock ship docked with a damaged Mantis fighter. Before you have a chance to hail them, the ship moves in to attack you and you register teleport symbols from the disabled ship. They're using Mantis tech to board you. Okay, well that is severely uncool, but let's go ahead and send in our fighters to deal with them. Uh, we'll definitely need to make sure that we have power set to the med bay so we can endure this fight. And then I think, let's see, we should probably send in a third just to try and make quick work of these guys. Let's send our engineer in there as well for a little bit of fisticuffs. Yeah, hopefully that'll do all right. All right, well, uh, oh, being beat up. But again, we are healing, so it's not going to be as bad as it looks. Alright, uh, let's go with our, our dual lasers. Let's take a couple of shots. 
Alright, both shots have landed. That is excellent. Let's cut from our... Yeah, from their weapon systems through to system wars. This should do a whole heap of damage. Alright, that missile is coming towards us. And realistically, I don't think we needed the extra cloaking. Let's just go ahead and dodge. We're not going to reroute any power right now. The rockship hails you. Enough. We were told aliens were a threat to our ways of peace, and you have proved as much. Take this and leave us in peace. You know what? Uh, that's a pretty terrible uh, attitude to have. I don't really want you teaching your friends that either. Uh, no surrender. Mind you, we could also just be reaffirming... Oh, man. Uh, we might be reaffirming what they already believe, which... Eh, may not be the best, but it's what we've got right now. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we'll ventilate all of that fire there as best as possible. We've got our dual lasers. Let's go ahead and target their shielding. Let's follow up with the hull beam. That will be more than enough to take care of what's left over. Alright, fire did not spread. It did not take out any extra systems. We've gained 27 scrap and some fuel. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll close those doors, let the oxygen start to uh, refill those areas. And, well, we're not losing anybody, but they certainly are. Yeah, the numbers are certainly in our favor. Everyone's at full health while we're still fighting. That is fantastic engagement right there. Let's go ahead and send everybody back to their stations. And then I think we'll also close those doors now that the oxygen has evened out fairly well. Uh, let's see, there is a store. That is nice, but again, we can't afford anything. We don't have the cash. Uh, so I guess we're going to go ahead and bail back towards the fleet. And see if we can find some more scrap for us. Yeah, oh well, it is what it is. Uh, a Mantis ship here is adorned with rock body parts. Okay, you know what? We're going to be attacking them anyway. Let's put our rock crew member on and antagonize them. Let them know that they are bested by the people they look down upon. There we go. Uh, yes, Cave Dwelling Pebble Man yells the Furious Mantis Captain. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get this done. Let's go ahead and put power back into our engines as well. Uh, let's see. Their weapons charge relatively well. Again, as long as we have one shield, we should be safe from their beam. Oh, and that's a single shot? Okay, you know what? That's even better. Now, let's go ahead and fire. Uh, just make sure that shots land... No, shots need to land on target. Yeah, that's rather annoying. All right, well, we'll hold out just a little bit more. Yep, that beam does nothing. And we've missed yet again. Okay. Well... There's not much that's really going on here. In fact, you know what? Let's just go ahead and turn on the auto fire. We'll fire off those dual lasers. And as soon as we break our way down, we'll probably go ahead and uh, go with the hull beam as well. Let's cut through shielding their weapons. In fact, we can even breach a systemless room. Yeah, that's going to be unfortunate for them. Probably not good enough. Oh, and uh, you know what? I probably should have aimed at their uh, shield generator, but it is what it is. Without having weapons, though, I guess it's not too bad. Now, let's make sure that we stay focused on their shields. Let's also turn off the auto fire for now. Uh, we don't want our hull beam to fire off unnecessarily. All right. Uh, nope. Still no dice. It'll look like our pilot may have gained some extra experience. Yeah, extra evasion skill. That is phenomenal. Alright then, well that should probably be fairly close to the end of this ship, yeah. Only uh, a couple more points of damage and we'll be uh, sorted. Yeah, in fact, uh, it doesn't really matter where we strike now, let's just aim for the bridge. Alright, let's see. There we are, they're out of the way. Ah, uh, 41 scrap, that is incredibly delightful. Okay. That's remarkably nice. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and dive down there. We'll just... Uh... Yeah, we're not going to be able to make it to that store. Let's just go ahead and scout out the rest of this sector as best as we can before the fleet arrives. And uh, hope that there is a another store later. 
We see a Zoltan merchant and ask about his wares. He responds, sorry, but it took years to gain their trust. I can't be seen communicating with you. I hope you understand that he cuts communications. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, oh well, it is what it is. This seems to be near a sun, that's an asteroid field. Uh, hmm. Probably make quick work of whatever's there. Uh, we could go ahead and go for the asteroid field as well. Yeah, if we're going to be near a sun, I want us to have pretty good FTL recharge. You know what? Let's go ahead and spend a little bit more power on our engines. And then let's also go ahead and pay for another power bar, I dare say. Yeah, I think that could be in our best interests. Either that or maybe we just use the oxygen, although we do have that for cloaking. You know what? Let's just go for a little bit of extra power to our engines, just in case we need it. And let's investigate what's happening near this sun. It's a limited opportunity, so we should probably go for it. Unusual solar activity in this region means you need to get out. Quick. The rock pirate nearby apparently thinks otherwise as they move to attack your ship. Yes, well, they don't have to worry about some uh, issues like we do. Uh, since fire does not affect the rock crew, so at least we have him to put out fires. I think what at this point we'll go ahead and put power into our cloaking as well. You know, we'll keep it in oxygen for the moment. When they fire that missile, we'll then go ahead and uh, redirect our power. But until then, just see how it all goes. Yeah, they're getting ready for that alpha strike. On. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and redirect power. And there we go. Two can play the cloaking game if that's what you so desire. All right. Uh, let's see. Whole beam. Let's get you ready. Let's go fire dual lasers. Anywhere will do. All right. Solid amount of damage there. Let's go ahead and take out. Probably we want to make sure we take out as much as we can. Let's go for... Yeah, let's get rid of the oxygen. And we'll go for their shields, weapons, piloting, and that systemless room. If they don't have oxygen, they the fire can suffocate them. Because again, the rock people still need oxygen. They just can deal with the fire. So let's cause as much trouble for them as possible. All right. Uh, we've got a little bit of a fire going on. Let's go ahead and quickly send everybody to this uh, to fight that. Yeah. All right. That should be fine. Again, the less damage it can do, the better. Oh, and it looks like they have managed to cloak out of the way. All right. That's fine. Let's go ahead and send everyone back to their stations. Yeah, they'll definitely be able to... Oh, it looks like they have a little bit of weaponry up on the line. There we are, they're back. Let's go ahead and fire our lasers. Come on, please hit targets. That's exactly what we wanted. And then let's work from... I think we go this way. We burn through their shields, we burn through their weapons, and we take out some of their cloaking get us more damage more quickly. Yeah, in fact, I don't think that they're going to be able to get that weapon system up and running. Let's redirect power to our engines and our oxygen. We'll turn off our cloaking for now. I think that we will be in a uh, sufficiently good position. We need oxygen back anyway, so... Alright, let's go ahead and fire our salvo. We might be able to get the kill here. Yes, yes, we can. So we can bail before that solar flare lands. Come on. There we are. Oh, and we're slightly out of time. Okay, uh, let's run. Let's run the rest of the crew over there so they can figure that out. We'll keep engineering and our pilot where they are. All right, the ship explodes away from behind. Scrap and fuel. That's rather nice. All right, make sure everybody fights that fire as best as you can. In fact, uh, you know what? Oh, no, never mind. You're not hurt by fire. Let's get that repaired as quick as we can. And then let's redirect our power. Uh, let's send... One second, we can only send three at a time. Let's send three to the med bay. The extra one over... 
there. We'll uh, make sure that we have some power set to that. Make sure that we heal up everybody as best as we can. Let's return everyone to stations. While well, you go ahead and get some healing. Alright, and that is good enough. We'll give it another second or two before the next solar flare. Just to increase our oxygen once more. Uh, we'll put power back into our cloaking. Alright, 91% oxygen, that's not too bad. Realistically, I think that's going to be fine. Yep, and there we go. Let's jump into an asteroid field. Alrighty, oh, so you exit the jump surrounded by dirt and rocks before a blast is deflected by your shield. Pirates incoming. Alright then, well, let's go. Uh, looks like they have the fancy cloaking maneuvers as well. Let's go ahead and drop our dodge, I say, and go for cloaking instead. Yeah. We'll cause as much trouble as possible, and we can fire from cloak. They cannot, so we do have a small advantage over them. Alright, let's go. Come on. Excellent. Let's go ahead and fly out of the way. Okay, we can charge up our weapons. Alright, let's go ahead and... Let's target our dual lasers against their shields for now, I suppose. Two solid hits. Let's go with the whole beam. Let's cut through their... Yeah, we'll make our way through their shields, their cloaking as well. Make sure that they have to deal with as much trouble as possible. That looked like a very well-timed asteroid right there. Uh, let's go ahead and take out... Oh wait, they can't dodge. Yes, their piloting is gone. Fantastic. Uh, let's go for their shields, make the asteroids work for us. Excellent, and now we can cut through with the whole beam. Go from their oxygen through their cloaking, all of that. That'll do nicely. Alright, we took a hit. That's not too bad. It looks like uh, some asteroids are still landing on target though. Yeah, that 60% uh, evasion from that cloaking it was not enough. Let's make sure we take out their shields as soon as they're ready I guess technically we probably could have cloaked but I guess I forgot that we had that when that single shot hit our drones nah, nothing too too dangerous all right an extra 32 scrap will do nicely uh, let's send a rock man over there and he can uh, repair our drone system only a single point of damage isn't too bad for a fight I think that's well and truly worth it Let's see, how is his repair skill going? Uh, two out of eight. Okay, so that's now... Has that changed? Oh no, uh, three out of eight, sorry. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Maxwell, your shields are coming along. You've got melee fighting, that's coming along nicely. Yep, okay, we're maxed out for our weapons charge. Maxed out for evasion skill. Next out for piloting skill. Okay, so that's really good. Yeah, that is not bad at all. Let's go ahead and jump into the next sector, I think. If we jump over here to another asteroid field, we can probably get to the exit safely. So let's go ahead and bank up some of that scrap yet again. And it looks like a rock mining vessel is harvesting mineral rich asteroids in this locality. And their scouts take your presence to be a transgression in battle stations. Okay, well they have three shields, but luckily for us, if we can time an asteroid hitting with our two hits, we can still do damage. So that's what we're going to go for. Alright. Uh, yeah, as we can see, asteroids are already doing good work there. In fact, uh, you know what? I think we'll go for some bonus cloaking. Alright, let's just be careful here. Alright, dual lasers. Well, we need that to land with our hull beam as well. Let's go ahead and open fire. No, all misses. That is unfortunate. Alright, they're trying to target, I think. Do we just hit the cloaking? I think we do. We have to try and do the most... Yeah, those dual lasers will have to fire whenever they're ready, and hopefully it coincides with an asteroid. Uh, it's not doing too good. 
Hmm. Made some solid shots, but they managed to miss. So that's kind of nice. Uh, you know what? We don't need a whole stack of oxygen right now. Let's go and redirect some power to our engines. Make sure that we have... You know what? Yeah, we'll do it next time it comes around. We just need this all to pan out nicely. Oh, this could go badly. Evasion. And we resisted. Okay, so that's not terrible. Yeah, this could be... Be a little bit of trouble, but we'll try and hold out. On dual lasers, we need this asteroid to land at the same time as both shots. And we still failed. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, now we're about to need some more power here. Yeah, we just can't quite get through their shielding at this stage. Let's go ahead and cloak. I think we managed to miss that entire salvo, which is fantastic. One shot lands. We needed more than that. Let's just go with the auto fire. That'll be fine for now. Just have to keep a careful eye on this shielding. And that almost worked perfectly. Almost worked perfectly. Ah, right, come on. Oh. Missed. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and... Probably want to keep our oxygen up for a little bit. Yeah, we'll just uh, keep on micromanaging this for a second. Oh, and they're down. They're down. Their shields are down. Fantastic. All right, let's slice and dice this fellow. Uh, we're going to start with their weapon systems. We're going to cut through their piloting. We're going to go through their shields and two systemless rooms. Oh, this just might be the break that we needed. Yep, no dodge for them. They're down to two shields. This is exactly what we were looking for. All right, let's focus again on their shield. I've only got that teleport weapon, which we can happily avoid. Uh, I don't know about their crew, but I think we should be able to handle this. Let's get oxygen back up and running. I'm not concerned about one weapon. Oh no, let's just go... Oh wait, they're already working their way back up. Oops, uh, we're going to get hit, but that is just unfortunate. Yeah, we probably should hit that cloak there, but I guess it is what it is. Rockfellow, you go over there and help out. Um, Hullbeam, you shouldn't be firing unless we command you to. Yeah, dual lasers, you need to be targeted for the moment that you're ready. Come on, we can still win this. Oh, and it looks like our Mantis crew is going to be in a little bit of danger. Let's go ahead and redirect some power to health, to healing. He's going to need that. All right, and now they are cooked. Fantastic. We have a victory. We will not accept their surrender, even though they move into a defensive position and transmit a white flag signal. They seem willing to buy their lives. Sorry, but you just don't attack people and expect them to not fight back. 38 scrap. That's what we're after. All right. The rock man has dealt with the fire very effectively, which is nice to see. Yep. Our crew seem fairly well uh, set. We can go ahead and put some power back towards the engines. Not that that makes a big difference. All of our people who gain skills from evading and whatnot uh, seem to be in a good position. Yeah, the rock man can repair. That should take us a little bit closer to the next level. All right, and we should probably go ahead and uh, have him heal up as well. That's probably a good thing. Make sure that we have everybody in good health and spirits. All right, then. Let's go ahead and jump to the... Oh, that's so unfortunate. I would have loved to have swung by that store, but that means we're going to have a fight on our hands that we really do not want to take. I think we're just going to have to hold on to this scrap for a rainy day. We're going to jump to the exit. It pains me to do so. We definitely need some stronger powered weapons, but I just don't think we want to deal with the fleet right now. You arrived, you arrive with a long ranged, you arrive at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. Okay, well, let's investigate, I suppose. 
you land a small shuttle in an enormous field, whose only occupants are small, brightly coloured, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? Uh, you know what, let's see if we can communicate peacefully. Yeah. And none of your attempts to communicate seem to work. They just stare at you silently as you prepare to leave one of the creatures sent canters towards you, forcefully nudges you away from the ship. He seems to want you to follow him. Eventually they guide you to an old NG crash site. Uh, inside you are able to risk reactivate an NG. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so a lot of scrap, some fuel, some drone parts, and a talented new crew member. Well, that is fantastic. Uh, let's go. Where do we want to? Where do we want to keep you for now? I think at this point we'll go ahead and send you to maybe the sensor bay. Yeah, we can run you around for quick repairs. Oh, you've also got piloting skill. That is excellent, just in case. But I think there's going to be the safest spot for now. We can run the Mantis out to fight one-on-ones and we can still maintain our control over the subsystem. That is excellent. All right, next sector we go. Uh, NG Homeworlds or a civilian sector? That's an interesting question. Uh, you know what? We have an NG on board. We have two NG on board. Yeah, let's go through the NG Homeworlds. Maybe we can get a nice deal at a store there. That's what we're going to aim for. Okay, so you have arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG Core Worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. And that's what we aim to do. But to do that, we will have to come back in that next episode. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to The Leviathan Cove. This is The Leviathan, signing out. Oh, 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 oh,